Hi and welcome to a new tutorial in Fusion 360. Here I will present a new, new car, that's the Mini Copper S. I choose the black and the red color. It should look like good like there. Here you will find the 3D model on my website you can download it and we will put I will use all these features as you can see to make this car don't worry we will go step by step we have a couple of body here as you can see we um, the same method we use all of this feature I create the wheels as you can see like this okay in separate component as you can see here we'll use the blueprint blueprint is the canvas you can show this one as you can see um, i want to make um, a blueprint tutorial using uh, photoshop maybe i will post it on youtube so that's easy to you to make it yourself okay let's create a new design you can save it for me i add new location mini copper s 1008 and for the name you can just put a name like this one and you will create many version of it and we will go step by step if you are new in this channel you can subscribe um, to to receive many other episodes i will try to post one by week okay let's start by posing the blueprint or the canvas but because before this i have new method to do that it's too easy it's to start uh, make sure here you are check off the 3d sketch let's start the from the front okay I would draw a rectangle this rectangle you can just add dimension this dimension is linked to the um, to the pixel of the front image for example here we have 30 by 300 by 40 400 okay um, then in photoshop you have to do the same thing when you make your images okay that's the front image let's let's finish this sketch and let's create another one okay just select the other face or I will explain to you here as you can see the front one when you go on the properties in the detail you will find 1400 by 1300 okay the same thing here 
I will post the images in the description. You can download it. Okay. I will cancel all of this. Let's finish the the sketches. Okay. Make sure that the Z axis is in the front of the image. Okay. Make sure that checked. You can add a constraint here. Just select the two points. As you can see. And in the other one, you have just to tap the pixel of the image. Here we have seven six nine you can verify you here you have forty hundred uh, the same thing as you can see here okay I've just to add the new sketch and add some constraint here. Um, you can't select that because you, I am not in the 3D sketch. In this series, you will learn many things about the 3D sketch using the spline and it will improve your experience of 3D modeling. I will use the patch mode, not the not the freeform, as many people do, because this method is too easy to modify when you want to modify your surfaces. Okay, here I create a plane. As you can see here, you have two options: is to put here to the object or put the distance 769 you can leave it like this or change the, the the volume of it as you can see here all thing is okay Don't worry about that because I am using two screen, okay, to record because I'm looking of I'm looking to the to the reference of my um, mini copper, okay. Just you have just to um, to follow me on this screen, okay. I don't know why it's capturing the other screen in the same thing. I don't understand why. Here we finish all the, um, the sketches. Okay, that's the problem about this one. Now when you you answer the, um, the blueprint, I recommend you to to hide the origin and hide the sketches all the sketches we have just to leave the front one as you can see here now fusion is too powerful to to help you to make all the the image on inside this rectangle as you can see, I will select the front view. Okay. Now on the faces here, just select this one and all thing is done. You have not to adjust with millimeter or other things. The same thing. I will hide the first one and select the top view. Insert from the computer. 
I repeat this one, you have just to select the rectangle and it works. I will repeat the same method. Select the left view, select this one and OK. Now the last one, I want to finish with the canvas and the last one you can hide it because we I will use it after, okay? Please, if you like it, you can just make a thumbs up. If you have any question, you can comment and please share the tutorial. Here, I will start the difficult one, okay? But I will recommend you to make four for views and disconnect the synchronized view okay um, that's the best way to do it but i noticed that fusion uh, have some back here on the views i don't know why but i prefer to do the first um, feature or the first sketch on this car using this method it's too easy to verify on the on the 3d views in the same times as you can see when you look i'm working on the on the right view but on the top view and the front view it works well okay that's a good thing fusion here mark point point to do to do this like 3ds max don't worry about it we'll go step by step and if you have any question leave it in the comment or you can contact me um, I will add a new option on my website kamalain.com uh, I add an option to contact me with messenger or you can follow me on Instagram you will find all my contact on the description and if you want the 3d model you can print it you will find it on my website I do this just reference okay because of that I add for construction of this um, sketch I will add a new um, new sketch here make sure that 3d okay for this one i told you it's too hard to use for view now it works and now i don't i don't know why but i notice that it works like this one okay if you have not a handle like this one just select the handle right button activate it now select all of it and move it i will use m key to move it okay 
once you finish this one you have just to um, to add another another 3d sketch you can activate multiple views and it's too easy like this one as you can see you can move it on this view okay and activate it like this one as i say to you activate tendon to handle and here i prefer to uh, to make this point of the handle more um, more big or more sizable to to cut it because many many times i can't I can't select it. I select all of the handles. Here, rotate it on the 3D view to, as I say to you, it's the problem here because of the multiple view. You can see here. I have some back. Have some bag here people sorry for that don't worry okay select the handle and use m key bend it a little bit like this one okay turn it to construction line and here you can link it like this by using a little little line like little spline like this one okay once you finish all of this you have just to finish your sketch save it before and you can just go to surface use patch and all thing is done and i will tell you see you in the next tutorial maybe i will be there in next week Follow me on Instagram and I have page on Facebook, Camera9. And thanks for watching.